So you now have the memory card installed back into the SD card slot on the camera. Now you power on your transmitter, plug in your tablet, power on the tablet's app and get it to the, into the camera mode and then you turn the model itself on. So you now click on I know, get this out of the way. Now you may find now that the model itself has entered into the update mode but it's just going to start sitting bleeping but there's nothing actually happening on the tablet itself. So you will soon get a message saying that the firmware ha or the firmware upgrade has timed out. So you now have your message saying that the upgrade firmware has timed out. So what to do is turn your model back off. Let that power down. Now what to do is to turn the controller off. Then what to do is to turn the model back on. And turn the controller back on. And then you will now find that you're actually partly through the... Uh, just close that down and you'll find you're actually partly through the upgrading process for some reason i don't know why but sometimes the uh, uh the tablet can actually cause a small problem um, and prevent the firmware from upstarting but when the tablet and controller are disconnected from the model the calibration the uh, update will start as per normal and then you can just let that progress as per normal the at this stage the camera itself will actually go limp and you'll get this unusual beeping noise So now your update is uh, completed, the model will basically reboot itself. Now obviously once you've done a firmware update, it's a good idea to redo an IMU calibration and also a compass calibration because you may actually experience this where you've actually got a compass error. So we can, if we look, see, so we've got firmware normal is up, is in the latest one, but we've obviously got an abnormal compass calibration there. So we'd want to go through the actual compass calibration. Okay, so hopefully that will help you if you have had some issues updating your firmware where it's been timing out. If you just simply switch off the controller, uh, close down the app, power the model back up and allow it to start the uh, firmware update itself and then switch the transmitter back on, uh, connect up your tablet, boot up your uh, app and this could either be on the Android app or the uh, Apple iOS app and then you should be partly way through your um, update and of course that was just a model update if there were a battery update it would do that as well and of course if you need to do an update on your transmitter although they don't seem to come out very often then uh, certainly you just take the card out of the model and then put it into a USB adapter and then plug it into the transmitter now if you have got a transmitter update to do as well as the model do the model first and then the transmitter I think in the instructions it says to do it the other way around but you're actually better doing the model first and then the controller um, I'm Rick from Marionville Models uh, hope uh, this is of help to you you can subscribe to my YouTube channel for a lot more how-to videos on the uh, DJI Inspire thanks very much bye